The Akai S1000 is a classic hardware sampler that was first released in 1988. It quickly became a staple in studios and on stages around the world due to its advanced features and excellent sound quality. The S1000 was known for its ability to sample and manipulate audio in a way that had never been seen before. It was one of the first samplers to offer real-time time stretching and pitch shifting, as well as a range of built-in effects. The LCD screen and buttons make it easy to navigate through the S1000's various menus and functions. You can use it to adjust sample parameters, set up looping and crossfading, and apply effects. The S1000 has a range of inputs and outputs including MIDI, SCSI, and a variety of audio inputs and outputs. This makes it easy to integrate into any studio setup and to connect it to other gear. The S1000 was also popular on stage thanks to its reliability and versatility. It's easy to trigger samples using MIDI or a foot switch and the real-time time stretching and pitch shifting make it easy to create unique sounds on the fly. Today, the Akai S1000 is still highly regarded among producers and musicians, and it's considered a classic piece of hardware that helped to shape the sound of electronic music. Thanks for watching this introduction to the Akai S1000 hardware sampler. If you have any questions or comments, Please leave them in the comments section below. Guys, here's the S1000. For those of you who think the 950 sounds bad, freaking hell. This thing sounds sick. And it's kind of like a 950 on steroids because you can do like um, multiple tone programs and put them in different MIDI channels and you get that kind of like, I don't know, 12 bit kind of flangey effect on samples when you double up the key groups and that. And uh, yeah, it's pretty lethal this one. It's, you know, it's pretty basic in terms of editing. Um, the WAVs, you know, the waves or whatever you want to call them, um, waveforms on here, you know, represented by a weird little line. But you can work, work with it. It's not, not you know, it's not non-workable. Um, and this is just like a 950 on steroids. Um, probably, some people might hate me for this, but, I think it, might, it probably sounds better than the 950 in some respects. Um, guys, check out this next demo, uh, which I put together. Spent the next last couple of hours just messing about with it. Uh, came up with something really, really, really cool.